In this video, I'll be showing you how to use and operate your Digi Out Air and Digi Mini Air security camera kits. First, I'd like to point out a couple key features on the cameras themselves. On the Digi Out Air camera, there are three ends to the cable coming off the back of the camera. You got your pairing button, which is used to add cameras to your receiver, your microphone button or microphone connection, which is used to listen to audio and your power socket which provides power to the camera itself. Both the antenna and the mounting bracket are already pre-assembled. All you have to do is tighten them up and mount your camera where you want it to go. The Digi Mini Air is similar. However, at the end of its cable, there's only a power socket and a pairing button. The microphone is actually built into the camera. On the receiver itself, you got your power socket at the bottom, your video, and audio components, your pairing button which is a little black one, your channel switch button, and your rotating antenna. To get started the first thing you want to do is get the audio video cables that were provided and connect them to the side of your receiver. Get the remaining ends of these cables and plug those into the back or front of your, your TV or monitor being used. Make sure you match the color coding, yellow for video, white for audio. Now what you want to do is go ahead and power up your receiver. There is no power switch on the receiver itself, so as soon as you plug in the power you would get a little blue light indicating that it's on. Now all you got to do is power up your camera. Get the power cable or power supply provided and plug it into the power socket on the end of the camera. The cameras that are included with your Digi Out Air and Digi Mini Air kits are already prepared to your receiver on channel 1. So as soon as you turn the monitor on, you should get the image from your camera. Now that you have the image on your camera, what I would like to do now is show you how to add another camera to your kit. This is a simple step. The first thing you got to do is purchase yourself an additional camera whether it's a Digi Out Air or Digi Mini Air camera. And using the channel button located on the side, switch over to an empty channel located on your receiver. You can tell that it's an empty channel because you'll get a no signal bar right in the front. Now all you gotta do is power up your existing camera, or your add-on camera, I'm sorry. Plug it into the power supply. Press the pairing button and the pairing button located at the receiver. And you should now get the camera image from your camera. <coughs> I've already prepared four cameras to the receiver, so now I'm going to demo how easy it is to go to each camera. From camera one, what I'm going to do is press the channel button located at the side of the receiver to get to channel two. Press it once more to get to channel 3. And once more to get to channel 4. After you've reached the 4th channel, you've completed the cycle on the receiver, so pressing it one more time will take you back to channel 1.